squared term. We only had the bx and the c. Um, so the x squared term is going to make these graphs look a little different than what we're used to. Now, ax squared plus bx plus c is the standard form for a quadratic function. Okay? a is always the coefficient of the x squared term. b is always the coefficient of the x term. And c is always that extra number added on. It doesn't have an x with it. Something that we call a constant. Okay, so a is always the coefficient of the x squared term, b is always the coefficient of the x term, and c is always the constant added on. So what I'd like you to do now is, in the first example, y equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 6. Figure out what a, b, and c are. should have come up with a is 2 because it's the coefficient of the x squared term b is negative 3 don't forget the negative and c is 6 okay how about the next one y equals 4x minus 5 minus x squared should have a is negative 1. Remember, a is the coefficient of the x squared term, right there. b is 4, the coefficient of the x term, and c is negative 5, the lonely one, without an x. Okay. We are going to need to refer back to what A, B, and C are later in this lesson and throughout the rest of the chapter. So you need to make sure that you remember A is the coefficient of the x squared term, B is the coefficient of the x term, and C is the constant. Okay, so now let's start taking a look at what an actual parabola looks like. Now the graphs of quadratic functions are called parabolas. This word right here, parabola. Um, I know in science you guys have started projectile motion and the paths that projectiles follow are parabolas. So I know if you've heard of the word before. Okay. Um, the basic parabola is y equals x squared. So what I'd like you to do now is fill in the table of values on your papers um, for y equals x squared. I'll give you about 20 seconds to do that. And when you're done filling in the table of values, graph your points. We should have 4, negative 1 squared is 1, and negative 2 squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Okay? And all we need to do to graph is just plot those points on your graph. So. I know this isn't going to be very exact. This is really off. Something like that. Okay. Notice it's not a straight line, it's a curve. Okay. Now, there are a few things that we need to go over about the basic parabola. First, 
first of all, like I said, the shape is called a parabola. Just like the linear functions that we did earlier this year, their graphs were lines, the quadratic functions we're going to do now are parabolas, they're curves. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is whether the parabola opens up or if it opens down. Okay. When I say opens up, I'm talking about something that looks like a happy face, a smile. Okay. And that always happens if A is bigger than zero. In other words, if A is a positive number. Okay. Here, in this example, I have y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. A is 2. So I know that my parabola is going to open upwards. It's going to be a happy face. Positive, happy. Okay? And take a look at that special point on the graph. Now, do I have a maximum point, a highest point, or do I have a minimum point, a lowest point? Well, I actually have a lowest point, and that is a point called the minimum. Okay? Let's talk, talk about the um, upside-down parabola. Okay? If A is a negative number, that's what I mean when A is less than zero. If A is a negative number, then the parabola opens down. It's a sad face or a frowny face. Okay? Um, in this example, A is negative one half. So it opens down. It has a frowny face. Negative frowny face, okay, and it has a highest point, which we call a maximum. All right, so, summary. If A is positive, it's happy. If A is negative, it's sad. So, open down frowny face. Okay? All right, a couple more things about the parabola. And all of this is already typed up in your notes. Um, you might want to add to some of those notes, but all of this is already written down okay, for you. Um, Alright, so um, the special point that's either a maximum or a minimum that we just talked about, it is called the vertex. Or uh, You will always hear me um, calling it the vertex. Um, I know in science class you might refer to it as the apex, okay, A-P-E-X. It's the same thing, the exact same thing, except I'm always going to call it a vertex, okay? It's either going to be the highest point or the lowest point on your parabola. So it's either a maximum or a minimum, but it's that one special point. In this basic parabola, my vertex is right there, zero, zero. Okay? And we actually have this nice little formula for the x-coordinate of a vertex. The x is always going to equal negative b over 2a. And when I say the x-coordinate, um, my vertex needs to be a point x, y. Okay? And the x, I can figure out what the x is by plugging into the formula negative b over 2a. And remember, the a and the b, they come from the original um, quadratic function. Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? Um, the axis of symmetry. You remember what symmetry means. Okay? Um, a line of symmetry is where you can fold something in half over itself. So, for example, although it's not exactly completely symmetric, you have a line of symmetry right here because it's supposed to be able to fold over on top of itself. Okay? Oops. All right. So, um, your axis of symmetry, um, you have an axis of symmetry for parabolas. Parabolas are always symmetric. Okay? You can cut them in half fold them on top of 
themselves. All right. Um, and the parabolas that we're always going to work with, um, they are vertical lines of symmetry. My axis of symmetry for this parabola that I have here is that line right there. You can fold it on top of itself. Okay? And it is the vertical line that passes through the vertex and divides the parabola into two symmetric parts. Now, because it passes through that vertex, I actually have the same formula for the axis of symmetry as I did my vertex. Okay, so the vertex, also known as the apex, um, the x-coordinate can be given by x equals negative b over 2a, and the axis of symmetry, since it passes through the vertex, it has the same formula. Okay, so those are your basics of properties, the basic properties of your parabolas, um, the things that you need to know about a parabola. Um, so now let's get into some examples. On to the next video.